Hey everyone, welcome to Vlogmas Day 8. My name is Michelle. I am a pharmacist and I work from home, make a lot of work vlogs and a lot of lifestyle videos, so make sure you subscribe. Today I have work at 2.30 p.m. I work 2.30 to 11 p.m. shift. Right now it's 12.40 and it's a Thursday. I do have the day off tomorrow, so I'm really excited about that, but I do have about two hours until I start work. So I'm gonna make myself some breakfast. Before I make breakfast, I did want to kind of chat about why I love being a pharmacist. If you're new here, I have a lot of videos about how I got into my pharmacist role and why I like pharmacy, how I kind of juggle my life around the pharmacy role. So I wanna talk about two reasons why I really love pharmacy. I have a couple videos detailing why I quit some pharmacy jobs, so I kind of wanted to bring the more positive side again, explain why I am a pharmacist and why I love being a pharmacist. So the first reason is there are a lot of job options. If you want to have flexibility in where you want to land in a job opportunity, then a pharmacist job could be for you. There are clinical jobs, which is retail pharmacy, a hospital job, or working in nursing homes. You can also work in managed care companies or pharmaceutical companies. Even within the pharmaceutical industry, there are different sectors like marketing, sales, economics. You could even go into the clinical research side where there's so many different options. You can also become a professor at a college. The career options are actually endless. There's so many career options. And the second reason why I love being a pharmacist is I love the patient care aspect and I really enjoy being the medication expert on the team. I enjoy being consulted because I know that other healthcare professionals and patients know that I'm knowledgeable about medications. If you like to help people and believe that patient care would be a good fit for you, so you would help patients, healthcare professionals by being the expert on a medication and you want to be an integral part of a healthcare team, pharmacy could be for you. In addition, you are part of the healthcare team but you're still limited in scope so you can avoid drawing blood and doing things that may not be what you're interested in. So yeah, those are the main two reasons why pharmacy could be a good, great option for you. I've had some other videos in the past detailing the opposite, so I just wanted to come on here and explain and give the fair comparison as to why I love pharmacy. So, so I'm gonna go eat some breakfast now because I haven't eaten yet. I'm also gonna drink this Olipop I was saving it for a day that I could drink it in the morning because it has probably some caffeine in it. It says vintage cola. Olipop, it supports digestive health. It's got prebiotics, botanicals, plant fibers. I've tried one of their other flavors and I've really enjoyed it. So I am gonna try this as well. All right, I've opened the Olipop and it's really good. It's vintage cola flavor. And it tastes exactly like Coca-Cola. It's got green tea caffeine in it, so I do need to drink it during the day so that I'm not awake all night. So I'm gonna go make my oatmeal now so that I can eat something filling and nutritious. This is, again, my favorite breakfast recipe. The easiest, quickest, most filling, and most nutritious thing that I usually eat. So, so I'll go show you what I make. You've probably seen it in my prior vlogs, but I'm gonna show you again because I just can't get enough of it. Okay, I have really, really old bananas. So actually I'm gonna add that into my oatmeal because I feel like that'll be good. I don't know, banana, cinnamon, walnuts. I think I'll mash the bananas. The easiest way to eat oatmeal is to eat instant oatmeal. So I usually get my instant oatmeal from Trader Joe's, but I recently got them from Walmart and they include 12 packets for a really cheap price. But Trader Joe's has, I think, eight packets for a cheap price. So I think actually I'm gonna continue to go with Walmart from now on, boil some water. And I have an electric kettle, so that makes it extremely convenient. So let's boil some water. So while we're doing that, let's mash up the bananas. I was thinking about maybe I should make a banana bread. After careful consideration, I've changed my mind. I'm going to make banana bread, just a separate oatmeal pack with chocolate chips and walnuts in here. So let's make banana bread. I'm gonna stop boiling, so pour this oatmeal in. Pour the water in. Just so I can make sure it's fully cooked, I also microwave it for a minute. All right, I've completed the oatmeal cooking here. I'm also gonna add chia seeds, walnuts, and chocolate chips, and maybe some honey in order to get some more nutrition in there. Okay, I'm actually gonna make an apple oatmeal. I'm gonna cut this up, microwave it in the oatmeal for a minute, and then nutmeg, cloves, ginger, and cinnamon powder, and some chocolate chips. It'll be a nice little apple pie oatmeal.
All right, the apples are nicely soft and microwaved. Let's add some cloves, cinnamon, and chocolate chips, and honey. Now, while that's sitting, I am going to create my banana bread. While I'm making the banana bread, I'm going to be drinking my Olipop Cola and also eating some apple pie oatmeal. I know, very strange combination, but I don't have much time. It's 1 p.m., so I have an hour and 30 minutes before I start work, so I'm gonna do this, eat this while I bake. I am going to walk you through how I bake the two banana banana bread. First, we're gonna add the two bananas. They're super ripe, they're falling apart in my hands. Perfect way to bake bananas. All right, here we go, mashing the bananas. Then you combine granulated sugar, cinnamon, and salt. Put three quarter cup. Three quarter cup is like the line in there, but I think I'm just gonna add less because I don't want it to be too sugary. So that's already a lot of sugar. <laughs> Mixing this. Then you add the cinnamon and salt. Okay, and the cinnamon is one teaspoon. One teaspoon. Next is to add half a teaspoon of salt. Add half a teaspoon of salt and mixing. Half a cup of vegetable oil. Cup of vegetable oil. I'm gonna crack in two eggs in here. And then two teaspoons of vanilla extract. One, two. This bowl is definitely gonna overflow. Alright, let's move this to a bigger bowl. A little more room here to work with. Next step, we're gonna put the flour in, and I'm not supposed to mix too well on that, so this needs to be mixed well to get a good base in there. One and a quarter cups of flour. over mix. I guess it must mess with the texture, so we're just gonna mix. Gently mix. Man, I like to live on the edge, huh? The flour is like basically going over the bowl again. <laughs> it's okay. It's still staying within. As long as I just keep gently mixing, then it'll be okay. It's 1.20 now, and I literally have an hour before I start work. So perfect timing because I can just put this in the oven and it'll be done before I start work so just gonna mix until I can't see any more white here I've already greased my pan here with it's all right perfection that fits well okay then I put it in the oven so okay here we go Goodbye, banana bread. Please bake well. I'll see you in an hour. All right, banana bread's in. I'm going to set the timer for 30 minutes, and then I cover it with foil after 30 minutes and let it cook for another 20 minutes. So it's 127. It's perfect timing. <laughs> hey Siri, set timer for 30 minutes. Got the timer going. I'm gonna finish up my oatmeal and my Olipop. Clean up a little bit around the house. And I did just miss a call, so I have to call back, and I will talk to you guys in a bit, and we will see the results of my banana bread. All right, guys, it is now 2.20, and my banana bread is done. Let's take a look to see if it looks good. Forgot to film an outro, so I'll see you guys in my next video tomorrow. Bye.